Loving Prince Harry ended up in a bush with a flailing page 3 girl after a wild night down in tequila shots with a pinup. Former glamour model Nicola McLean took a tumble at a star-studded party where she and Harry drank the bar dry of tequila. But she said the chivalrous Duke, who was like an animal when it came to boozing, came to hug and kiss her. Harry recently sent shockwaves around the world with his bombshell autobiography, Spare. The book features a string of revelations including tales of adultery and drugs. But he neglected to mention his booze-filled antics with Nicola at retired rugby ace James Haskell's 30th birthday bash in 2015 before he even met his wife, Meghan Markle. Nicola was at the party with her husband, ex-footballer Tom Williams. Nicola exclusively told us, I got very drunk and fell in a bush as I was leaving. I was trying to scramble my way up and thought, my husband Tom Williams could not see that I'm this drunk. Then Harry put a hand out and grabbed me up, and I was like, don't tell Tom, and we were p-worrying ourselves laughing. She added, Tom's got a business in Las Vegas, so they got talking. Harry absolutely loves Vegas. He was really fun and just one of the lads. Harry wasn't watching when he drank, so he could stay professional or royal. He was just with the lads getting drunk. I really liked him. I met him before he met Megan, so I don't know if that's changed things. We literally drank so much tequila that we ran out. Then Harry was trying to find a way of sneaking out and getting more. Security wouldn't let us out, but he was fully up for just going to the shop. Tequila was definitely Harry's choice of tipple, so it went down well. Harry and Tom were animals with it. To be fair, I gave it a good go, hence why I fell into a bush, but they drank it dry. Nicola continued, I woke up the next morning still in the dress and I'm thinking, was that a dream? It was one of the weirdest days of my life. Then I went to the toilet, looked down and the white dress was all black at the back. I thought, well, I definitely won't be able to hide that from Tom. So I was like, babe, I fell in the bush. Tom said, yeah, I know, your dress is telling a million stories. It wasn't my finest moment, but who doesn't want to get drunk with Prince Harry? In other news, Prince Harry, in a recent interview, seemed to suggest that his relationship with his estranged brother, Prince William, could have been better if they did drugs together. In one of his many promo interviews for his memoir, Spare, the Duke of Sussex told the Daily Telegraph that he was able to accept his mom, Princess Diana's death, only when he took the mind-bending drug ayahuasca. While narrating this story, Prince Harry went on to say, And now, as two brothers, if one of you goes through that experience and the other one doesn't, it naturally creates a further divide between you. Which is really sad, but as much as William was the first person to even suggest therapy, I just wish that he would be able to feel the same and see the benefits of that as opposed to believing that he doesn't need to do it. This comes after Prince Harry, in another of his recent interviews, suggested that his relationship with Prince William would not be where it is today if their mother, Princess Diana, was still alive. We would not have gotten to this moment. It's impossible to say where we 